27 days, that's all the time left until what could be one of the biggest elections we've seen. And it's not just about what's happening nationally. There are some pretty important races right here in West Texas. Sydney Jolivet spoke with two candidates running for the Midland City Council District 1 seat. Sydney, what were some of the things they had to say? Well, Crystal, first off, both candidates were very passionate about their love for Midland. But of course, they had different perspectives on how to make it the best place in the Permian Basin. When it comes to serving in local government, you need that spark, something that keeps you motivated. For both Brian Stubbs and Heather Bredemus, that spark is their love for Midland, Texas. I just love Midland. This place is amazing. It has done so much for me and my family, um, and I really do want to give back. Um, I think I bring some very unique um, skills to the city council, uh, conservative values, church member, father, um, part of very a lot of nonprofits, a business owner and an engineer. Um, and so I want to bring all of that to um, city council so we can sit down and solve problems. I was born and raised here in Midland. Um, love this town. Uh, it's where I met and married my high school sweetheart. And we knew this is where we wanted to raise our kids. So uh, after college, we moved back. And I just want to make this the best place for everyone to live, work, and raise a family. Being a Midland native, Bredemus has made note of three key areas that she feels deserves the council's attention road safety, strategic planning, and public safety. Why that's important to me, two years ago when we moved to our, our new house, uh, someone actually broke into our home and uh, our house alarm went off and unfortunately because the police force is so understaffed, they're working with a bare minimum, only seven officers on at a time to cover all of Midland. They were not able to respond to that call and that's very scary and that's something that we depend on as well as fixing the firefighters pension. That's extremely important is supporting our first responders. On the other hand, Stubbs, who owns a small business, has his eyes on growth and making sure people stay in Midland. We have a lot of challenges when it comes to growth, making better schools, making sure our police department and fire department are growing. We have to have an open door policy. We have to have people that are willing to kind of sit down at the table and really think through these complicated problems of how do you grow a city well and keep Midland what Midland is and, and keep Midland values. And I want to bring those conservative and Midland values to our city council so we can start making those decisions and getting Midland to grow and stay the, Midland, the city that we've all grown up to love. Both candidates said they've loved hearing from residents while knocking on doors and having those one on one conversations. But soon it'll be time for the polls to do the talking. For more information on both candidates and their plans to win your vote come November 5th, visit newswest9.com. And remember, early voting begins October 21st.